if we can press these bad boys. Oh yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel again today. So Ford today dropped another email in my inbox regarding the new Everest. Wasn't allowed to say anything till five o'clock, um, but just posted up on Instagram and also now on YouTube, um, showing you guys uh, the new Everest and what I think of it. Um, so looking at the front end, it, it looks, it's all camouflaged up obviously, but it definitely looks similar to the Ranger. The front end looks pretty much identical to the Ranger as they always have been. They've just been a mirror image um, between the SUV and the Ute. Um, but coming around to the side profile, the side profile of the, uh, the new Everest does look good. I do like that side profile look. I think that would look awesome. Set of method race wheels, set of big chunky tires. That would look tough, that thing. And then uh, coming around to the back, um, definitely a, a whole new redesign there on the back. Um, has all the new lights and stuff like that. So they've done some, some good work there on the back end. Is it as big as what I would have liked? No, I wish it was a little bit longer looking at those pictures. I would really like to see some of these Ute manufacturers and also SUV manufacturers when they're trying to mirror each car. I wish that they had basically, if you could picture a Ranger with a canopy on the back, that sort of side profile in their SUV lineup. Um, to be that sort of length, width, and have that sort of cargo in the back. So I've mentioned this in past videos on what I think Ford should do with the Everest. The second row to be captain's chairs, then a walk through to the rear. Very similar to what they do in some of the uh, the GMCs and stuff like that in America where they have a, a bigger style of SUV. I think that would, would hit, hit the nail on the head with a lot of customers here in Australia, just having that little bit more room and stuff like that. But basically mirroring the same length and profile of a ute Obviously just being a wagon, I think that would be the uh, the way to go. But looking at it, I think it looks awesome. Um, can't wait to see it with the camo off. I think it's gonna look sick. But going off, looking at the front of the vehicle versus the back of the vehicle, I wish the back of the vehicle just was a little bit more, a little bit more squared off and just a little bit longer. I reckon a good, good 30 centimeters of length increase um, on the current Everest um, would give it a really, really nice side profile look. Um, and, and bring it into the, it's, it's almost full size SUV. It's a better stance and, and more aggressive stance. So um, I think they've done a really good job. Um, I'm just fingers crossed that they do end up doing a XL version, which is a little bit longer in the rear end, a little bit longer wheelbase. And yeah, that would be the, uh, the family SUV that I would buy if I was looking for one here in the market. So obviously no details on the Everest, more so just a teaser video that they've put out this afternoon, but um, some things that I, I hope for the Everest would be um, a Raptor version would be awesome of the Everest. I think that would sell really well, um, especially for the people that don't want to ute and do want an SUV, but want it to be badass like a Raptor. I think that would be sick. Um, but I think they'll probably do like a an FX4 version of the Everest with some um, really fine tuned shocks and stuff like that maybe an off-road sort of package probably maybe not equivalent to the raptor but if we got a raptor everest i think that would be absolutely awesome so let's uh keep our fingers crossed for that um again no engine specs or anything like that what's going to be in the everest but i'd say that we're probably going to get the exact same lineup in the everest as what we get in the uh the new next gen ranger so i'd say that's what your engine options are going to be if you haven't watched my previous video that i did on the next gen ranger my predictions and stuff like that uh, go back into uh, my YouTube and you can see that video, the last one I posted. Just a reminder guys, my website, www.ftech.com.au. You might want a sticker, you might want a stubby cooler, you might want a patch. It's all on the website. Be quick, I'll try and get postage out before Christmas. I usually post same day. So jump over to www.ftech.com.au. Support the channel, help me out so I can keep making videos like this for you guys. Anyway, catch us in the next one. See you.